First at five, the Providence man convicted of killing a Boston woman has been formally sentenced in federal court. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Earlier this year, a jury found 36-year-old Lewis Coleman guilty of kidnapping Jazzy Correa from a Boston nightclub back in 2019 and killing her. And that's where we find 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer, who was at the sentencing. She joins us now live from Boston with the breaking details. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, Lewis Coleman was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The sentencing just happening within the last couple of hours here in Boston in federal court. The federal judge really didn't have much of a say in the sentencing as kidnapping resulting in death under federal law carries a mandatory death or life in prison sentence. Prosecutors here in this case did not seek the death penalty. The federal judge also ordered the 36 year old to pay restitution. The courtroom here today was packed this afternoon with friends and family of the 22 year old. Her mother, father, grandmother, cousin and best friend took the stand giving victim impact statements, each emotional, calling Coleman a monster and asked why he took away the young mother's life. Correa's cousin and best friend also asked Coleman to turn around and face them. He did not. He also did not take the stand. This all stemming from a February 2019 incident that started in Boston, where prosecutors say Coleman tricked the 22 year old into getting into his car. Surveillance video later captures him carrying a body with long hair and orange pants into his Providence apartment. Four days later, Coleman is arrested in Delaware with Correa's body in the trunk. The defense argued Correa went willingly, but the jury didn't buy it. Just minutes ago, the U.S. Attorney's Office spoke on behalf of the Correa family with Jassy's mother and father in tears beside him. Why was this loving daughter taken so brutally why was this vibrant mother taken from us this beloved cousin beloved sister beloved niece beloved friend why was she taken and um, our judicial system is not equipped to answer those questions and the judge granted the defense's wish to have Coleman serve his sentence in an Arizona prison next to his family. We also just heard from the defense attorney who says that they will be filing an appeal in this case. Hear more from the defense and also the prosecution coming up new at six. For now, live in Boston, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.